Okay, so um, I've scraped back an area here, so you can see a, a fairly loose anti-foul product at the top here, which is an incompatible uh, product to the one that was underneath it. And underneath that coating, if you look really closely, you can now see a grey and a green, which is where the, the epoxy manufacturers have basically used uh, two different colours, so that when they've applied it, they can tell where they've been. So it's always a good indication when you see, when you scrape back gently or use a little bit wet and dry, you can start seeing the green coming through the grey then you know you've got an epoxy coating underneath. Personally, I wouldn't take this off. Um, I've used a me meter here, which if it's ve very damp, it will flick up. Um, so all, all meters are not really moisture meters, I hate to tell you. Um, they're comparative. So basically the top sides there are running at uh, less than 10. I come down here and they're literally running exactly the same. So that gives me an idea that there's very little moisture in the hull. Now, in some of these areas, we're near the anchor locker, we have got a little bit of moisture in here towards the bottom of the hull. So when we go inside we have a little look and see what's causing that. It may be something really stupid like um, some wet clothing or some ropes or even the chain just laying in the bottom of the hull, we'll, we'll throw the meter. Um, when I do a tap testing, and that's really the most important bit to me, you can hear the hull is actually still nice and crisp. nothing there that really worries me at all. Um, there is a, a drain on the bow for the anchor locker which is blocked so that may be part of the causing. Um, if you look further down here you'll see the boat has had a repair. These colours are probably one of the worst to try and ever match up. But you can see there's been a small repair here which again looks pretty good. Um, it's, it's obviously faded off with the UV light and you can see that someone's tried to over cut and uh, wet and dry too much and they actually started going through into the laminate below so you, you, you really got to be very careful about doing much more here in the way of tea cutting or anything like that um, yeah I keep thinking my meter's not on because it's, it's so dry that the meter isn't raising but you can just see a little bit of moisture held in that repair so it was probably done outside rather than in, in a workshop all right what was that